how to go to space. That's a big problem because the mountain of Newton does not exist. We have no support point. We cannot climb. That's vacuum. Nothing. Let's take a comparison. Let's consider that we are in the ocean on a boat far away from any seaside, alone on a boat, without any propulsion, any way to push the boat. Well, I take the first object that I find in the boat, a stone, for instance, and I throw it away as quick as possible. Then Mr. Newton says that the system being isolated, that's the drama, it is isolated. Its center of gravity remains fixed. So as the stone goes this direction, the boat goes this direction. This is called the reaction principle. It should be called the inertial principle. And the rocket works exactly this way. Let's consider a prototype of a rocket, which looks a little, well, it's not a very pretty rocket. It looks like a whale, you know? And then it ejects gas at high velocity out of the rocket. So as the gas goes this direction, the rocket goes this direction, and it works. Yes, but I have to compute this now. And it is Mr. Tsiolkovsky who computed this equation at the same year then the Wright brothers made their first flight, 1903. Well, the normal computation should be to express the fixity of the center of gravity of all the system. But we don't consider the gas. They live their own life lost in the universe, in this case. What is interesting is the rocket itself. But the mass of the rocket is not constant because it loses something. That's a lesson of spaceflight. You cannot go ahead without losing and giving something. That's also a lesson of life. So, the mass of the rocket is varying, and in time, it is exactly what is called the massic flow, which is a number of kilograms per second lost by the rocket. And then Mr. Tsiolkovsky applied the principle of Newton, the general principle of dynamic, which is m of t multiplied by the acceleration, which is the derivative of the rocket velocity, which is what the thrust. Mr. Bernoulli explained that the thrust is simply the product of the massic flow by the ejection speed. Please do not confound the velocity of the rocket with the ejection speed. The ejection speed is the velocity of the gas and the velocity of the rocket is the velocity of the rocket. By integration of these two equations, it's very simple, if you know the logarithm, that on a combustion phase, you find that the final velocity of the rocket minus the initial velocity, which is called the delta V, is simply the ejection speed multiplied by the log of the initial mass on the final mass. And that the formula which opens the door to space flight. We see two things. We need high ejection velocity and light structures in order to have the maximal ratio between the full and empty rocket. And that's the secret to access to space.